So I'm pretty sure, if not everyone, but a lot of you went Black Friday shopping, either on Thursday or Friday. So I can pretty much guess some of the stores you guys probably went to were like Target, Kohl's, JCPenney's, maybe some of you were crazy enough to go to Walmart. But like, what about the smaller brands of stores? Like, for instance, I work at a small local business. It's called Steinmart. I don't know if any of you have heard of it. Probably not, because I didn't hear of it when I first got the job. And I work at the one in La Mirada, but there's also one in Fullerton. And we are actually, we're a small local business, but due to the fact that we are smaller and not a lot of people know about us, our store is closing down, so I'm going to be losing my job in February. So today I want to emphasize to you why you should shop and support local businesses. So first I'm going to be highlighting the fact that even at smaller local businesses, you could still get relatively good quality stuff that can be found at other stores. Two, they provide jobs to lots of people, especially teens, when it comes to smaller businesses. They hire a lot of, you know, unexperienced but teens that need jobs. And then third, we have really good customer service because we are a smaller business, so like we pay more attention to like what customers really need and stuff like that. So according to an article written by Nicole Leanne Beck Real, founder of Retail Minded Publication, small businesses, quite frankly, big businesses, the Small Business Administration identified that there are more than 28.2 million businesses operating in the United States as of March 2015, with about 63% of new jobs being created from small businesses between 1993 and mid-2014. Of these 28.2 million businesses, most are self-employed, making about three-fourths of the U.S.'s total businesses. Approximately half of small businesses survive five years or more, which really isn't that long for businesses because if you would go to Target I'm pretty sure like they'd be going on forever but like if you go to a smaller business like maybe your local coffee shop or something or your favorite little boutique like those kinds of things like the fact that they are smaller usually they don't last very long which is sad because they you can get the same things at those little stores as you can at like Target or Walmart. So the problem with customers is that they automatically think that just because a business is small that they won't carry the known brands that they're looking for, such as like Michael Kors or Brandy Melville. But you can find all of these brands at the smaller businesses. For Steinmart, for example, we have all of these all of these different brands. I work in the men's section. So we have like Michael Kors, Alan Flesser, like all of these brands of clothing that you would find at a regular store, but at a fraction of the price. And we also have like, other brands as well that other stores don't carry. For example, we have like Peck and Peck, which is like half of our ladies department. So hey, if you guys need any clothes, come to Star Mart. We have like this brand, it's called Peck and Peck. It's like really good quality clothes, but it's like people just overlook the fact that we're smaller. They think, oh, I'm not gonna find anything in there because it's not like Target where it's like, they have everything that you can possibly think of. Smaller chain businesses also provide many job opportunities for people, especially teens. According to an article called Top Reasons to Buy Local, Eat Local, and Go Local, not only do independent businesses employ more people directly per dollar of revenue, they also are customers of local, local printers, accountants, wholesalers, farms, attorneys, etc., expanding opportunities for local entrepreneurs. So you don't even have to be experienced in the field. Like I have a friend, she just applied a couple months ago to a store called Fashion Q. I don't know, a lot of you have probably heard of that because I shop there a lot. But it is also a smaller chain business and it's like she had no retail experience whatsoever and a couple weeks ago she was just promoted to one of the managers. So it's like you learn when you go in there and it's like the fact that they take a chance on these like not necessarily troubled teens, but like teens that can't find a job, that have like no job exer experience whatsoever, because that was me when I got hired. I had no experiences, but they took a chance on me and a bunch of other people. But it's like the fact that they do that like helps everyone out so much. So in addition to that, we also have really great customer services. So I know when you go to other stores, you walk in and it's like you can ask someone a question, but it's like you probably lose them because the store is so large. But it's when you go to a smaller chain business, 
you can get that one-on-one -on -one attention that you really need, especially if you're trying to find something. Because I know, like, when I'm working, I get asked, like, so many questions throughout the day, but I'm able to, like, really help these people, and they're really appreciative of it because of the attention that we give them. But it's because we're a smaller store and a smaller business, the fact that we are able to help them out, like, graciously. And there are a few people, the two regulars that come in all the time. I was checking them out with their stuff. And they were just so appreciative of everything that we've done for them and how much that we've helped them. And they were really sad that our store is closing, but I told them there was really nothing we could do about that. But if people are informed about small businesses and what they can provide for other people, then more businesses will stay open and your local businesses can, like, it can strengthen your economy. Just, like, take a chance on these smaller businesses. So in conclusion, just because a business may be smaller, it can still carry the brands that you're looking for. It provides jobs to many hardworking people out there. And you get great customer service there. So just because something's small doesn't mean it's not big. So take a chance on these small businesses. That's with us. I'm going to agree with a lot of those things. I thought that you had a nice use of your personal experience at the beginning. There's a good preview of what the structure is supposed to be. At the end, you've got a good summary. Everything stays pretty well organized. I like the personal perspective because that builds your ethos and it also gives us an emotional connection to what's being talked about. Uh, the best part of the research that you had was on the job stuff and how important small businesses are to creating those jobs. And then you had like those individual personal visualizations that went along with that. I thought that that was pretty effective. You do a very good job speaking to the audience. Uh, your, your voice isn't a big voice, but you use the, there's good variety in it, and you sound like you're interested and engaged in what you're talking about. You're talking to us for the most part. Sometimes you have to go to those notes a little more often than you like, and you know, cutting up pieces of paper is just not a great idea. Uh, you know, but if you're going to do that, probably ought to glue them or tape them onto a card so that they're not flipping around and kind of twisty when you're trying to get through them. Uh, that would solve a couple of problems. Uh, a nice summary, and I thought you had a reasonable exit line, too. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>